Okay, in this video segment, we're going to be looking at uh, Mendel's actual uh, experiments or uh, component of Mendel's uh, experiments to get a sense of why he had uh, some of the results that he was able to uh, discern. Now, uh, three basic components or, or generations, uh, I should probably say. Uh, in his uh, initial experiments. He has the P generation, uh, which is the parental generation. So they were the parents. Um, uh, then the uh, second generation was the F1 generation, uh, F standing for filial, um, you could say sons. Uh, and the third generation was his F2 generation. Now, uh, what's significant is that in his parental generation, he, true, he chose uh, true breeding plants, uh, which uh, means that they are uh, homozygous uh, for their particular traits. Now, he chose to use uh, characteristics of certain pea plants. So here you have uh, purple flowers that he crossed with uh, true breeding white flowers. Now, uh, at the time, the uh, predominant uh, th hypothesis in uh, genetics is that there is a blending of traits, so the expected outcome would have been uh, sort of a light purple uh, color and flower, but uh, unlike those uh, results that were expected, all of the offspring were uh, purple in color. Now, what's significant is that uh, after this generation of cross-pollination, he allowed these plants to self-fertilize, or uh, we could look at it as self-pollinate. And uh, when that happened, he was able to get some offspring that were purple in color. But then that white uh, flower color that had disappeared in the F1 generation reappeared uh, in the F2 generation. So um, rather than this blending of traits, he saw that uh, traits were uh, reserved or uh, conserved uh, through generations and that um, certain traits could be uh, dominant to others. So it was significant that, uh, or important, that he allowed uh, the experiment to continue on uh, for a third generation so he could see uh, how certain traits uh, reappeared. Now we can look at um, this three to one ratio that was exhibited in the F1 generation and uh, explain the disappearance and reappearance of traits using uh, our familiarity with uh, Punnett squares. So uh, for instance if we set up a Punnett square for this first cross we know that uh, one flower was white, we'll represent that with a lowercase p as a recessive allele and then the others were purple and then all of the offspring then were purple in color because they were all hybrids or hybridized. So all of these flowers uh, were purple because they had one recessive allele from one parent and uh, a dominant allele from the other parent uh, ensuring that uh, all the offspring would be purple. Now when he allowed this F1 population, population to self-pollinate what happened was he took these hybridized offspring oops, sorry, and most of them were purple but then uh, again a percentage of them ended up being white which is uh, the explanation for these results that we see here. Now he had this occur not just with flower color uh, but with a total of I believe uh, seven different uh, characters that he was tracking. He had these same numbers uh, recurring 
in the F2 generation are the same sequence of events where one trait would disappear and then reappear uh, in the third generation in about the same proportion as what he saw in this experiment. So uh, he knew something was up and mathematically he was able to uh, explain what was going on and that's what we're going to be uh, looking at in future discussions.